Dear John, October 9th has always been your day. I've spent a considerable amount of time in strawberry fields this year, watching the seasons change, the tourist groups gathering around the mosaic for a photo or two. However, no day in your little corner of Central Park compares to that early October afternoon of celebration. 82 has never looked so good on you, John. Just take a look around. Look at all who came out to serenade you with your anthems, to honor your legacy and spread your messages of peace and love. Would you join in on the fun if you were here? What kind of celebration would there be if you were still with us? I have no doubt you'd love to spend it in the park amongst your fans, old and young, where you'd sing along just the same. Clearly, I never had the opportunity to know you personally, but through your music, I've gotten to know you artistically. You've been an open book through your work. I've seen your deepest thoughts, your greatest fears, hopes and wishes, a diary of your mind over the course of a decade. In many ways, your music reflects my life, who I am personally. It's always been easy for me to connect to you, especially this year. 23 has been the most pivotal age of my life thus far, where your lyrics speak volumes to the characteristics I'm unlocking, the person I'm becoming. You make a great companion, did you know that? I wonder if those just passing through today will ever take the time to know your story. In my years of professing my love for your music, your character, there have been many moments of backlash from those who only read the headlines, the inaccurate assumptions based upon events taken entirely out of context. I don't want the potential fans of the next generation to believe the lies, acting as bystanders on a beautiful afternoon such as this, where we come to celebrate someone who gave us a catalog of the most transformative, memorable music the world has ever heard. You. The general public may continue to misunderstand you, but here, we're all on the same page, uniting as one for this annual love fest. Despite the chaos that's occurred throughout your time, your life deserves to be celebrated. How I wish you could see the smiling faces, the jam bands, fans from near and far. On second thought, I know you can see us. You are joining in on the sweet singing, embracing us with your love and spiritual guidance. Strawberry Fields is a magical place where your presence is felt throughout. Perhaps that's why visiting, even just for a few moments, is so addictive. Today is a joyous occasion. Not a single arrogant remark could spoil the time I spend with you in the park this afternoon. John, you will forever be my creative inspiration, an individual I can empathize with, knowing that you could easily do the same with me. Happiest of birthdays to you, today and every year after. Love, Skylar. Skylar.